Nerot. Kakadosh Boker Tov, we're just continuing with Halachot of Simad Samit Gimel. We're talking about now Halakat Nerot of Shabbat. We're talking about Halakat Nerot. There's a mitzvah midivre sofrim to light the candles. Lichvot Shabbat Kodesh. This is talking about for this is candle lighting. And every single person is obligated to have a candle lit in his house. This is called Ner Shabbat, it's called Ner Shalom Bait. As the Gemara actually brings down, what is Nachm Shalom Nashi, is a Lakat Aner, which basically we're basing it upon a Pasuk, that we're making peace, and this is talking about Lakat Aner, that when there's no light in the house, there's no Shalom Bait. And therefore, what happens is people are distressed, they feel, uh, they feel very, very bad. So therefore, what happens is that when all of a sudden we're going to feel depressed, so what happens is when we have the light, the light comes and it illuminates and makes people jolly. That's what we talk about also with about the sun. So some people say that the mitzvah of Lakat Aner is part of Onik Shabbat, and some people say it's part of Kevoda Shabbat, right? And some people say that there's also both, also Kevoda Shabbat and also Onik Shabbat. Now a person has to be very, very careful with the candle lighting, because the Gemara Masechet Shabbat of Kav Gimel Amubet says, Amar Avuna says Avuna, anybody that's going to be accustomed to having the Nerot Shabbat is going to have Marim Tamnei Chachamim. Rashi says, because since it says, Kiner Mitzvah ve Torah Or, right? So therefore, through the Mitzvah of Shabbat and Chanukah will come the Or Torah. So that's why very, very important. The Zohar Kadosh comes and it says as follows. He says, a woman has to light the candles in the Rosh Shabbat besimchat alev uvratzon with ha- with joy, with happiness, and with will. Shere kavod el yon hula because it's actually a kavod, and therefore he says zechut kedula bishvila. It's a very great merit. She tiske lebanim kedoshim that she's going to have holy children. She unera olam betorah avira which they will be the candle of the world, whether it's going to be in Torah and in fear of God. They're going to make a lot of peace in the world. By lighting candles, she's giving her husband long life. So because of that, a woman has to be very, very careful in Halakat Aner. So imagine, she's coming and lighting Nerot Shabbat, and she's giving long life to her husband. So from here, we we'll obviously have to be careful, right, about the candle lighting. There's obviously going to be much more that will continue in the coming days. with Hashem.